last season. I mean, is it really the last season, do you think? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 100%. I think it's the last season. And Vince has said that he thinks maybe there's more stories to tell, but he's done for now. And you have been so involved in it for so long. Because you, yeah. you were into it, and then you came back, right? Because you were yeah. the buyer on Breaking Bad or Saw? On the first season of Saw. I of Saw. I halfway through and helped them. And then I was like, okay, I don't think I'm going to do this anymore. With And then season four, they called, and we're like, hey, we're having some issues, and we would love to bring you in as decorator. So I finished that half of the season. <sighs> I came back for season five, season six, and then I also did El Camino. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, you've been in and out of this world. You must, like, dream about these characters <laughs> or, like, that they're real people at this point. I mean, yeah, it certainly made it easier for the last season because I felt like I really knew these characters. Right, right. Whereas, you know, when you first start on a first season or something, you're, everyone's still testing the water on who these people are. Yeah. But by the end, you know. I like that. Like, I I know decorators who, you know, it's one, one and done season or, like, I, I was there for two, I'm good. But I always liked, like, developing these characters over time and sort of seeing, like, you know, a part, like, when, and then people, you know, people always get together and then you got to, like, <laughs> mesh their personalities in the decor or, or not. I owe, and the development over the story and and time like I mean yeah, I mean that's one of the best parts of our job is yeah. being able to tell a visual story yeah definitely. with their small details and yeah. other small things and it, when you get to grow with the characters it's yeah. just so much more rewarding yeah I think too like I've been on a show and it was like like technology changed while I was on the show <laughs> Like, <laughs> I stayed a little too long on Bones. But, like, for even for you, even though it was a flashback, though, so you were kind of, right? It's a period piece. Right. Ish. Ish. Because we start in 2004. Mm -hmm. Then by the time we get to the end of season five, I think we're in, like, 2007. Mm. I could be wrong with that. 2006 for sure <laughs> but even in just that small amount of time it goes from like crt tvs to like the first generation of flat screens yeah because you start and especially when you're decorating people are like oh like a tv and then you're like you know, everybody's flat screens now. I don't care if it's grandma or it's, you know, no one's really working with those big TVs anymore. No, because you can go to Walmart and get yeah. a, a small TV for under $100. Yeah. I, I literally said that to my last, I was like, this is a grandma. She went to Walmart. She bought a TV. Like, there's no, there's no big old TVs. Then we're really dating this house. And if you want to go that way, that's cool. But yeah, I'm, that's also a fun little yeah. niche way yeah. to seal someone in time but for the most part people aren't going to be like that no no so you have 13 episodes in this last season how hard was it to kind of be done with that after being with these characters for so long well I would say it was hard in the sense that we were saying goodbye but they're wrapping up so many stories and the timeline gets a little bit more fluid. Mm. So it, a bunch of new stuff too, not just oh. closing out old chapters. Oh, like for your premiere and everything. I mean, yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, the fans receive it so amazingly, which is what you want. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, I think, I was just talking to someone about this, because, you know, a lot of times you do streaming shows, and then you're like, I don't know. I mean, you, you kind of hear an article about it. You, there's no more, like, checking, uh, you know, ratings or anything. There's no, like, so you really got to dig in and look for, like, what fans are saying, or, like, if people are responding to your social media, or, yeah. It is good. It is nice, though. Yeah, um, I think they said, 
AMC um, said it had the highest viewership of any of the premieres. Nice. That's fantastic. And it got the most, like, sign-ups for AMC Plus that they've ever had. So, that's great. Well, I think it's coming back. (laughs) Yeah. No one cared that it was two years in between, I guess. No. I mean, look, how many times, like, Sopranos used to have, like, a year, year and a half at some point, or, like, Mad Men. I mean, nobody cared. They, they just want They just want the story. They just want it. Yeah. They're hungry for the content, and that's good. I wanted to ask, um, is it the same DP? We have two DPs this season. Um We've had the same DP. Um, his name is Marshall. I can't remember his last name right now. Um, and he was the DP for all of Better Call Saul up until this season. Mm. And then we had a second DP, um, and they alternated odds and evens. Mm. Oh, always. That's every season. Or that's no, just this the, season. The, the first season they've just, done that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Because it really stuck out to me the um, the amount of times people are in shadow and that sort of running thread of keeping the viewer really kind of in secret uh, or, or voyeurism of watching this, obviously, but, um, but who you're watching is in shadow. And yeah, I, they do a lot of that. And, yeah. they, and then this season, they started playing a lot with reflections, mm-hmm. which really tell in the diner we had to put a special um plate down so they could shoot that so it was fuzzy neon on the left and kim and jimmy were talking on the right and they like to do a lot of just like you were saying in shadow they love reflections they like really interesting shots yeah we do a lot through shots so i can't tell you how many refrigerators and dryers (laughs) and you know you have you have to so, buy because they gotta they gotta take the back out or take the door off or whatever the hell they do. Um, yeah, yeah. That diner scene, which I don't watch the show, but then I saw that it's called the El Camino, so then I that triggered like, oh, this has been seen before. I think I'm not sure, or no. No, it happened to have the same name. Oh, as El movie, and um, it just kind of went with the story and it was such an amazing neon sign yes. that they were like, we have to use this. Yes. And it's such a cute little place down there. Well, as I said, I mean, Albuquerque has amazing neon on that, you mm-hmm. know, route 66. Yeah, I mean, it's, about that. yeah. So, Oh, that's funny. I was like, I won. I wondered if you had that made to tie into something because I feel out of the loop because I don't watch the show. Like, I feel like, Oh, was that a clue to something that's going to come up? I don't know. Um, also, if you were like me, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest. I've never watched Breaking Bad. And I know I'm one of 10 people in the world who haven't done it. But until everyone in the world watches The Wire, which I think is the best show, I'm not watching Breaking Bad. I don't give a shit what you <laughs> say. Um, but I know it's a good show. I love, I mean, I know the acting is phenomenal. I, I can appreciate it not having watched it. But do you think someone should watch... Better Call Saul, and then Breaking Bad? Like, if you were going to do it. Hmm. I really don't know. I mean, there is a thought that you could watch Better Call Saul first because it's a prequel. But I think you should watch Breaking Bad first Mm. because he's really just a side character in that. Mm. And then over the last several seasons, and of course through the end of this season, they're sprinkling in more of that world to tie them together. I see. So I feel like Saul is a little bit more standalone in the first few seasons because it's so much backstory for just him and not so much the whole Breaking Bad world okay so you could do it either way good to know so what if if i should ever dive in my brother thinks i have secretly watched